Imani Oliver, a sophomore majoring in elementary education, hailing from the beautiful animated city of Orlando, Florida, and I serve as your junior class president for the 2021-2022 academic school year. I am grateful for all the seeds that Mary McLeod Bethune has planted. The seeds she has planted has allowed not just myself, but the student body to blossom into the accomplished black men and women that we are. Thank you. Staff members are so attentive, and I know that is because of the legacy that Dr. Bethune left. The way in which she walked on campus is so powerful that I know it really had to influence the staff and my peers to act the way in which we really love each other. And knowing that I can walk in the same footsteps as my founder, it encourages me to just continue being amazing and continue striving for the best that I can strive There's something for. special about this place. There's something special about her spirit. Mary McLeod was a champion. And just think about this. Here's a woman born 10 years out of slavery. Imagine a black woman, 1904. She's 29 years old. And she comes to a place she's never been before. And she has this desire to start a school. This place is the embodiment of wisdom, power, truth, success, and beauty at its finest. <laughs> The Bethune-Cookman University Concert Chorale is a world-renowned music ensemble that is comprised of almost 50 national and international undergraduate scholars. Many choir members are music majors while others are working towards degrees in other fields. The Corral's travels have included national and international locations such as Colombia, South America, Cuba, the Bahamas, the White House, Israel, and the Ambassadors of Goodwill will continue to spread joy, love, and peace throughout the world. The Ambassadors of Goodwill were named the HBCU Digest Choir of the Year in 2017, and in 2018, the Corral released yet another recording project titled Hold Fast to Dreams, released on Curb Records. The Concert Corral performs a wide plethora of music. The Ambassadors of Goodwill have performed with the Jacksonville Symphony Orchestra in a concert version of Gershwin's Porgy and Bess, featuring soprano Laquita Mitchell with the Bach Symphony Orchestra singing R. Nathaniel Detz, The Ordering of Moses, and William Grant Steele's And They Lynched Him on a Tree. They have also performed with the Dr. Phillips Center for the Performing Arts Jazz Band, and most recently performed a tribute to the Queen of Soul herself, Aretha Franklin, as a collaboration with the Orlando Symphonic Orchestra. Holding true to the spirit and legacy of our founder, Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune, the ambassadors of goodwill continue to holistically develop. Faith is the first factor in a life devoted to service. Without faith, nothing is possible. With it, nothing is impossible. Greetings from the Mecca of NASCAR racing, the great Daytona Beach, Florida. I am Earl Robinson Jr., a senior communication studies scholar from Jacksonville, Florida, and I stand strong as a servant leader, a confidant, an assurance giver who is advancing the legacy of Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune as the ninth Mr. Bethune-Cookman University. And because of this cultivated legacy by Dr. Bethune, a young black male raised in Jacksonville, Florida has the opportunity to a higher education at a premier global institution, at the exemplar of black excellence, the great Bethune-Cookman University.
found it 115 years ago on the site of a city dump by an African-American pioneer for freedom and education, Dr. Mayor McLeod Bethune. With a dollar and 50 cents, five little girls, and unwavering faith in God, BCU continues to create a pipeline of success for future leaders and innovators. Since 1945, Ebony Magazine continues to be a catalyst for cultural insight as they pioneer the representation of black America in the mainstream media while still upholding its commitment to social justice and activism. In the succession of my leading posture on campus, I have revealed myself as a trailblazer by serving on the Bethune-Cookman Royal Court first as Mr. Freshman, Mr. Sophomore, Mr. Junior, and now as Mr. Bethune-Cookman University. As an Ebony Campus King, I am committed to the preservation of the rich history of Bethune-Cookman University. I stand to protect. Standing on the platform of an Earl Robinson production, it is my sincere desire to consolidate the student body to promote civic engagement and academic prowess while creating an inclusive environment of transparency and transformative leadership. As I forge forward, I say unto you, we've got no time to dream nor drift. We've got work to do and mighty loads to lift. Be not dismayed, whatever be tied. God will take care of us. Hail Wildcats and vote Earl Robinson Jr. as your next Ebony Campus King. God bless. Invest in the human soul. Who knows? It might be a diamond in the rough. Dr. Mary McLeod with them. Greetings from the home of the world's most famous beach, Daytona Beach, Florida. I am Blake Elise Minter, a fourth year accounting student, hailing from the also transparent glass city, Toledo, Ohio. And I graciously serve as the 66th Miss Bethune-Cookman University. Welcome to my HBCU, Bethune-Cookman University, the place where we bleed maroon and have hearts of pure gold family-oriented, the best band in the land. My founder, the 15th of 17 children, the first born out of slavery, founded this institution with just $1.50, five little girls, and unwavering faith in God. When others saw a city dump in 1904, she saw opportunity, a faith-based private institution. Here at Bethune-Cookman University, we stand strong on our motto, enter to learn, depart to serve, and return to invest. As a black woman, she defied the odds by serving under multiple presidents. A civil rights activist, she founded the National Council of Negro Women. Prior to becoming Miss BCU, I executed my platform by serving as a resident assistant and president of a women empowerment organization on campus entitled Phenomenal Women in Higher Education Think Tank. Since 1945, Ebony Magazine has been a platform showcasing the best and the brightest black lives. In addition, Ebony has served as a medium, highlighting the highs and lows of the black community while advocating for progress. HBCU queens have been a staple in the presentation of phenomenal black women. Beginning October 15th, ending December 31st, Wildcats, alumni, family, friends, Vote every day to support me, Blake Elise Minter, to be featured in Ebony's Magazine as one of the top 10 HBCU queens. I cannot do it without you. Watch that brother, stand and wave your hands from side to side and turn your prayers from I don't want to let nobody in. Wildcats, this is Brent Kreit, the new president of Bethune-Cookman University. I look forward to meeting all of our new and returning students. Freshmen, congratulations. 
As a class of 2023, you made an excellent decision to join the Wildcat family. We're committed to providing a holistic and comprehensive educational experience that prepares you for a challenging and disrupted economic marketplace. You'll be infused with our core values of faith, integrity, respect, service, and a thirst for knowledge. What we refer to as FIRST. Your experience, your success, is our North Star and our new center of gravity. Our faculty and staff have prepared a variety of Welcome Week activities designed to help you make a productive transition as you adapt to your new home away from home. These events incorporate opportunities to learn Bethune-Cookman University traditions, meet your peers, and to get acquainted with the campus. There's much to look forward to. The rigor of your academic experience will challenge you intellectually. Through avenues provided by BCU's many clubs and organizations, you will develop essential leadership capacities. Our chapel service will provide moments that will motivate, inspire, and enlighten your spiritual growth. And yes, there's fun too. BCU football is sure to be full of excitement and recreation is essential for a balanced and productive experience here at Bethune-Cookman University. So mark your calendars for a memorable homecoming week held October 19th through October 26th. Your years here at Bethune-Cookman University will be among the most transformational of your young adult lives. We look forward to helping you cultivate the knowledge and skills needed for our emerging 21st century economy. I look forward to seeing you around campus. Hail Wildcats. Thank you.